Hey there, this is Steve Horseman with Good Guys to Great Men. Thanks again for watching today. I just wanted to make a quick video today about a topic that's coming up a lot lately. And it has to do with sex and sexuality. It has to do with how to make my wife feel sexy again. It has to do with what does it mean when she says no? What does it mean when she says, no, I don't think so, or I don't know, or maybe we'll see later, or we've got so much to do, or I'm so tired. You hear all kinds of excuses from your woman when you want to be sexual with her. So what I want to talk about in the video today is what does it really mean? How do you, how do you get in a mindset to where you don't continue to go into a downward spiral of, of feeling rejected and pouting and, and getting angry and resentful? Because we all know if you do that, that does nothing to turn a woman on. So if you want to help her feel more sexy, you have to change your mindset. One of those things I'd like you to change is stop thinking that every time she says, we'll see, maybe later, I'm tired, I don't know, or we've got so much to do, that you don't think that's a no. No doesn't always mean no. And I'm not talking about consent. I'm not talking about dating a woman you've never met. Let's not mess this up with the whole debate about consent. I'm talking about a marriage. Marriage, you've been married 5, 10, 15, 20 years with this woman, and the spark is gone, and everything's kind of drudgery, uh, and, and it's not real exciting and sparkling like it used to be. So when she says, I don't know, maybe we'll see, I'm tired, or we've got so much to do, what she might be saying is, I would love to feel alive again. I would love to feel sexual. I would love to feel that, that feminine, sexy blood running through my veins. I would love to feel attracted and desirable. I would love to feel all of that. But right now what I'm telling you is that I don't feel like that. Doesn't that sound better than no, or we'll see, or maybe later? We start projecting things on her that she's a controlling, cold-hearted woman, and she's not sexual, and she doesn't like you, and she doesn't want you. Yes, I know, those are the things that go through your head now. And what if they're not true? They're normally not true. All the, that little boy chatter that, that tells you that she doesn't like me, and I'm not attractive, and she doesn't like sex, is a bunch of crap. The truth normally is with all of us is when we want to say maybe or we'll see, I don't know, is because we're not convinced that we are that kind of person ourselves. We're not convinced that we feel sexy. We're not convinced that we are attractive. We're, we got into this mindset of not really knowing what we want. So give her the benefit of the doubt. Give her the benefit of the doubt that she actually wants to be sexual. She wants to feel alive, that the blood pumping through her veins is an attractive and desirable woman, a sexy woman, one who could get on the middle of a dance floor in a beautiful dress and swing her hips and smile, just like you've seen before in the old days. That's still her. That's still inside her. What if you looked at her like that and just chilled out? So when you initiate sex or when you invite her to sexual intimacy or any type of intimacy, you're coming from a place to where you know she's already that woman. You're not projecting negative stuff on her. Now, one more thing. What can you do about you? A lot of guys, when they get into 10 or 15 years of marriage, start approaching intimacy as something to win. It's like a carnival game and you think all the planets have to align and you're trading on eggshells. You have this really tentative, really unconfident feeling about yourself. You're almost expecting to get a no. So as soon as she goes, maybe later, you roll your eyes and you give up. I don't want you to do that. I don't want you to give up. I want you to know that you are an attractive, desirable, sexy man. And if you don't know that, if you don't believe that you are a man of sexual value, that you have gifts of affection and desire, and, and trustability and just an innate uh, masculine energy of that, that is valuable. If you don't believe that, I can guarantee you, you will get rejected time after time. This goes all the way back to pickup artistry and stuff when you first met. The reason she was so attracted to you in the beginning is because you had a degree of mojo, a sense of self-confidence, a sense of value. You weren't overly invested in the outcome of her saying yes or no, and that was very attractive. So what happens, you get 15, 20 years into marriage, you lose that mojo. And you start seeing the act of sex as the end in itself. The act is the one thing that makes you feel better about you. So what I want you to do is think about knowing that you are a sexual man, knowing that you don't need her to say yes to you right now to, to make you feel good about yourself. You're already okay. And when you're already okay and you know your value and you know that you're a playful, confident man of mojo, when you hear, I don't know, maybe later, we'll see, or I'm so tired, right? You don't take it as a hell no to you. You take it as a, hmm, maybe I need to step up my game. So step up your game. 
Step up your game and know that you're a man of value. Know that it's okay to feel sexual and sexy and turned on in your body and to communicate that, that to her comfortably without apology for being that way. But most of all, without projecting the obligation on her to reciprocate it and to make you feel good. All you need to do is share your inherent value, your inherent mojo, your inherent feeling of, of well-being and sexuality with her and invite her and invite her again. And if you get it, I don't know, we'll see, maybe we got so much to do. Ask her how you can help and then be playful. Don't run away hurt. Don't get mad. Don't get resentful. Stay in that positive, confident mode of mojo that you remember you had in the very beginning. That's my tip for you today. I hope that helps you. Uh, comment on this video below. If you have any questions, I will answer them. Send me an email directly at steve at goodguystogreatmen.com. I answer all my emails personally, and I'm happy to help you. If you have any questions about this video, shoot me an email. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.